a lot of them too, because you know some of the stuff uh, it says, oh well, we gotta you know we gotta define it, we gotta make it quantifiable. Um, wait the amount of time it takes her to text you before you text her back. Has anybody heard of that before? Yeah, cool. That's stupid too, okay? Um, and thank God I don't actually remember where I read it, but I know I've seen it a million times. That's fucking stupid. And I'll give you an example why it's, it's bad. Um, I'll tell you that you need to be the guy that texts. In order to have a seduction, there needs to be momentum, right? There needs to be that buying temperature, so we have to keep it a conversational seduction. Now, let's add this to the fray. There's a cool book. It's very interesting. It's a great book for women. It's called Flirt Texting. It's essentially like the eye game of, you know, women, where they say, like, oh, how to get guys over text, you know, when you first date that guy and he's texting you, how to respond in a way that makes you seem cool, you know? And that's great. It's a, a lot of cool information. But they say, very poignantly, wait, if you don't want to appear too needy, Wait the amount of time it takes him to text you before you text him back, right? Okay, in one scenario, either one is good. When you put them both together and you've got girls waiting the amount and you've got guys waiting the amount, it's like this fucking vortex that'll like, all right, it's been 12 years, I've got to text her now, it'll be 24 <laughs> years. It doesn't make sense, right? It's the worst shit ever, cool. Um, <laughs> that's, I, that was my favorite, I read that. Now it's just like, I literally, it's this little pink book that I bought in Barnes & Noble and I bought it like, I bought it with like a bunch of other like sexual escalation books and like fucking you know Kama Sutra books and I was like I'm this one too and she and literally the girl at the Barnes and Noble was like really cute and I was like talking to her and she's like who are you buying this for I was like oh, my sister <laughs> <laughs> um, so really cool so let's talk about some examples of why this needs to be supported right because I'm not just going to be like don't do this haha <laughs> I'm a PUA right okay um, let's say you went to a club on Sunday night. All right, Sunday night, you met this most awesome girl and she was super cool and you got her number and you have this interaction. And let's say she is absolutely smitten. She thinks you're the coolest dude ever. She, you know, she loves your sexual energy. She really wants to get in bed with you. She wants to explore and be free and find out and be brought to new worlds and, and see sound and hear color and all of these wonderful things. And she is uh, just waiting around. Monday comes, she wakes up, she goes, oh my God, Gareth, oh, he's awesome. Or you're, insert your name here, right? Um, or maybe she thinks your name is Gareth, which would be weird. Um, I met my first Gareth, actually, the first Gareth I've ever met in person. It's not a very common name in, in America at all. My first Gareth in person last weekend. I was like, yeah, what's it like having a name Gareth? And I cut him off and be like, oh, I know. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> So she's like, oh, I can't wait till he texts me. Oh my gosh, oh, I can't wait. I want him to call me right now. It's Monday morning at like 9 a.m. I'm just gonna go over and just have crazy sex. But we're being PUA, so we're like, oh, well, you know, we'll wait a while. So we wait, and she waits all Monday. She's sitting by her phone. She hasn't eaten, she's sweaty, she hasn't showered. It's terrible, she's pining for us. Monday goes by. Tuesday comes, she wakes up, same thing, a vigil, there's a candlelight and a, and a sketch of what we th she thought we looked like from that one night at the club waiting there, right? And her girlfriends are like, listen, he's, he's, give him some time, you know, guys are weird, they do PUA stuff, She's gonna, it's going to take him a while to like call you, right? So just like let it, let's go to the club tonight. She's like, I don't want to go to the club, I met my husband, I don't need to meet any other guys. No, let's we'll go to the club, just for me. Okay, it's fine, we'll go to the club, right? So... At about seven, let's say seven o'clock, they finally convince her, listen, he's not gonna call right now, let's just go, we'll live our lives. You haven't eaten, you're sweaty, it's creeping me out, right? Let's just go and live our lives. So at 7.29, she gets in the shower. And at 7.30, you text her. Let's say you some, say something like dumb, like sup, right? Cool, <laughs> so the girl's in the shower, she's like washing her body, she's washing her hair, like, um, I'm sure women spend lots of time on their hair. Um, takes them forever to take showers. Um, she's like shaving all her parts in the shape of like cool things just in case you happen to like call up or whatever and she's like just pining for you. She's fantasizing in the shower, it's wonderful. She finally gets out. Nine o'clock, she's dried her body, she's done all this stuff, she's applied the appropriate product. She comes out and she sees her phone blinking and she runs to it and she texts you back at nine o'clock right away. Oh hey, nothing, what are you doing? Right? So we're PUAs and we go, fuck, all right, when did I send that? 7.30, 7 it's 9 o'clock now. 
It's an hour and a half. So at 10.30, I got a text back. So we like set up the text. <laughs> and we set the phone down and like we set an alarm on our, phone, on our watch. And we come back like an hour and a half later, right? And what's happened is that she's, she's like waited by her phone for the next 45 minutes. Her girls are like, get dressed. We got to go to the club. And she's like, oh, fine, I'm coming. So she gets dressed. She gets all her things. She's got her phone. She's got her phone. Oh, all right. Now they're in the car. They're like jamming out to like Miley Cyrus or whatever. And they're driving to the club and they get there at 10, 15 and they're waiting in line. And she's got to talk to the bouncer. And oh, there are lots of cute guys here. That's kind of cool. All right, cool. She's in the line and she gets your text. And your text says something brilliant like, chilling, what are you doing tonight? Right? So now she's in line, she, she, you know, she's, she doesn't get it, so she's like walking to the bar and she starts doing shots with her friends and then the dudes roll over and they're like, hey, blah, 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 have you ever heard of like, blah? and they're like, okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> wow, am I even making sense, right? Um, and she goes, at the club with my girl, so fun, lol, because she's been partying and pre-gaming and whatever and now she's kind of getting tipsy. And then you've got to wait another 15 minutes so you can cock the brilliant response. Oh, cool. Do you want to hang out? Lol. But she's at 11 p.m. She's not going to get that shit. It's guys, guys buying her drinks and, and then she's got to go. No, i got to go to the bathroom. And oh, and then guys come over and she's like, no, i got to go find my girlfriends. And then some handsome guys come over and say, hey, can we buy your drinks? And she's like, yeah. And they buy drinks and they get trashed, right? So 45 minutes later, she's like, oh, she sees your section. She goes, come to the club. I want want to see you. Yeah. So now it's 45 minutes later. So you're at home going, all right, 45 minutes later, you get your chart. You're like 45 minutes later. We got 1145. It's 1230. Now you text a girl at 1230. She's dancing with her friends. You're like, hey, where club are you at? You're texting a girl. She's dancing with her friends. She's not going to see her phone for like 45 an hour. And at, you know, 1.30, 2 o'clock in LA, the close, clubs close down at 2 o'clock in LA. She'll probably be wasted. So we get wasted radio silence. We don't get anything from her. Probably a text message at like 3.15 after she's gone out to food with some dudes that are like, where are you? I want to see you. I miss you so much, right? Something super awkward like that. It's not going to do you any good. Let's put it in the context of com like, um, we call it, you, you know, like quick response, right? Where we're just going through it. Scenario two, same scenario pining for you, steps out of the shower, nine o'clock, gets your text, hey, nothing, what are you doing? And I text her, hey, I'm hanging out at home, do you have plans tonight? Text her one minute later, boom, right? One minute later, super needy PUA. <laughs> Three minutes later, she responds to you, maybe the club, but I don't know, which means I have plans to go to the club, but I would rather see you, right? 906, because I was like peeing or something. Champagne, grapes, and Netflix is the order of the night. Calm and relaxing. How does that sound? 908. Sounds better than the club. Ha ha ha. Which means invite me over right now. 910. All right, I'll come get you. Can be ready in a half an hour. It's that easy. Now, it's really easy to see on paper. But this is a transcription from a girl that I met in that exact same scenario. And I was lucky enough, we do a lot of debriefs with our girls, like, you know, I don't call it debrief when you're with her, but to talk about the relationship. All right, listen, it's time for debrief. Do I have my, is my, is my clipboard around? Is it, oh, it's in the, the Joy of Sex book. Um, talking about what, when she was attracted to you and what happened at the beginning of the relationship, because you have those relationships and you become very, very open with women, and that openness is really, really important. And this is exactly what she said. She said, I was waiting around for you. I was waiting around because I was so into you. And then I had all these plans to go to the club. I was even dressed and ready. She actually got out of her club outfit and took off her makeup to put on something more casual so she wouldn't seem like so, so into it. Um, so that's why, you know, that's why we create that scenario, you know, is because you cannot simply have an escalation. You cannot simply have a relationship without continuing that momentum, conversational seduction. Sure, you know what? There may be girls that are like, wow, he's texting me back really quickly. He's really needy. But I will tell you that I am, you know, a traveling pickup artist. I literally just do different cities every weekend. I'm in fucking Australia right now. It still kind of blows my mind. I've been to London. I've um, I was in Sydney. Uh, any city you can name in the United States, I've, I've taught there. And when a girl texts me, I get fucking stoked because girls are awesome, right? And I like talking to them. I'll text them right away. Like, the cool part of my job is that, like, even if a girl texted me right now and I didn't have this weeny little stupid phone, I could, like, stop and text her back and you guys would be like, he's texting the girl right now. Like, fucking unprofessional, right? 